Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is MTG Gameplays and welcome back to the Brighton and Hull Valvian career mode. Before this video gets underway, I just want to say a huge thanks to everybody that showed me a lot of love and support back in the last two videos. They have done so well and I can't thank you guys enough. It really is memorising and mind-blowing knowing that there's actually people out there that are actually enjoying this series. It means the world to me, honestly, guys, and I can't thank you enough. We've also reached 32 subscribers, so for the new subscribers, shout out to you guys. Thank you for the Thank you for subscribing and joining the MTG squad. Uh, welcome to the channel. We're here trying to grow an amazing community. Um, so you guys, thank you for helping us out. So yeah guys, let's see if we can do the exact same in this video. Show me the same love and support on this video as the previous two. Can we smash four likes in this video just like the other two? And with that being said guys, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the world's fastest shit growing channel on the internet. And with that being said guys, let's get on in to the, ep the, the third episode of this series. So for the first recap, um, if nobody remembers, um, if you knew, we are currently in first place. We've played two games and we have won our first two games. We've scored eight and conceded two and currently on six points. We have also signed Ings as well as Mangala. Um, I do believe that Ings is actually injured at the minute. Actually, he was injured. He's actually perfectly fine now. There he is. He had a bruised shoulder, if I remember correctly. And then we have Mangala over here. He's been on good form himself as well. Also, one of you guys suggested that we should uh, look for a kind of centre midfielder, CDM, kind of a cam who can play all around in midfield, preferably somebody young. So uh, I'm going to take that suggestion and we're going to see who we can find. So I'm going to send a scout out to deal with that. What I'm actually going to do, send out this dude, he's got a four star rating. So we're going to send him to England and his instructions, we're going to send him to look for, we'll, we'll start it right in the centre, we'll have a centre mid age, we'll say between 16 to 21 attributes, we want him to be, we'll say promising and box to box, because if he's going to be somebody that wants to be able to play everywhere, then we're going to need him to be kind of like a box to box player. So we'll see what he can find in the UK, saving me. You know, looking around properly. Um, I'll let one of my scouts do that. But with that being said, we currently have a game against Watford, which could possibly be a challenge. But we're going to find out. Let's jump on into the game. All right, here we are, guys. Watford versus Brighton and Valvian. So Ings, uh, I think, is the top goal scorer of the league so far. Um, I'm pretty sure he is anyway. He's been on amazing form for us so far. So hopefully he can do the same in this game and get himself a goal or two. Maybe a hat trick. Go on. Unlock it. With, um, some sharp nice. Well done. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh I thought that yeah, went in. I actually whacked my hand off the desk then and that actually really hurt. Ow. Yes. Well done. Through ball. Lovely. Another win oh! Oh! Wow, look at that. Look how close that was. I thought that was another goal, to be honest. Right, half time's upon us. Let's just whack it up there. Try to get a flick on. No, not happening. Is this a good chance? Might just whip it in. Okay. That's a handball! Yes! Penalty! Come on, Ings, this is up to you now. Oh, what a penalty. What a beautiful penalty. That is how you score penalties. How many goals is that for Ings? Four goals in the Premier League. Proud of that one. Four goals and only three games in. There we go, half time. It's been pretty difficult to break them down, but you know, now that we've got ourselves a goal, it's quite possible we might be able to get ourselves another one or two more. I'm going to take proper off and put Kyle on because look at this 89 jumping, 90 jumping, and uh, he's still pretty good at defending, and his dribbling is actually really good as well. Alright, let's do this. 
Second half. Say another two more goals. I'll be happy. Go on, Mangala. Oh, no. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. Well done. Flick on. Come on. Plays injured by the looks of it. Oh, lovely. Well done. Head that away. Oh, what was that? Come on. Shit. Oh, that's because we were messing around at the back. We'll get another goal. Don't worry, guys. Oh, wait. That's it. What? Don't tell me that was a foul. Was it a handball? What have I done? Show me. What have I done? Oh, it's his fucking hand. Oh, the, oh, the fucking irony. He the studs Which way is he going? I think he's going this way. And he was going that way. What a save. Well done, Ryan. What a bleeding save. You absolute lifesaver. Oh, wait. Whoa, away! Oh my god, off the fucking line. How? How has this happened to me? I'm not happy about that. Not at all. We beat Man City in the last episode. We can't be getting beat against Watford. Yes, yes. Touch, touch, touch. Yes! Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, ball, ball. Right, come on. One more goal. One more goal and we win this game. Yes. Oh, what a tackle. You bloody legend. Over the top. What ball? What ball? What ball? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my freaking God. What a save. Right, they've only got one defender back. Oh, my God. Ings, please. Oh no! Ings! Oh, he's fucking blocking me off, man! There we go. This is it. This is probably the last chance. That's it! Oh no! Get it! Get it! Right, be it. This way we might just get a chance. Yes! Last chance. Gotta be last chance now. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. No, I thought if we would have just if that whistle didn't go, we probably would have scored there. Ah, it's early on in the season. It's not a bad result at the end of the day. So I've got the whole season left to go. All right, let's simulate who the next match. Oh, transfer window deadline day is coming up. I don't think we're gonna get the scout back either. Hold your horses. We've actually got a couple of plays here. Um, we'll have to take a look then. This Tom Davis doesn't seem too bad, but I reckon they'll want quite a bit of money for him. Charlie Wakefield. Hmm. Loftus Cheek. They'll probably want quite a bit of money for him though. So I'm going to start off with Loftus Cheek because I know that he's actually pretty alright. So let's go and try and buy him. Um, let's offer a transfer offer. We'll just bang in 2 million. I doubt that's going to be enough to be honest. Yeah, it, it was never enough. I knew it weren't going to be enough. I thought it was going to be reasonably expensive. Tom Davis is probably going to be a bit difficult because with him being uh, an Everton player, his wage is probably reasonably high. Um, Charlie Wakefield might be the player to buy. Bollocks. They're not even looking to fucking sell him. Great. Davis it is then. I assume 2 million again is going to be not enough, but we'll see. Yep. I'm just offending every single manager right now. Matt Cash. Ooh, he's pretty pacey. Potentially good for the wing. His dribbling is okay. Okay, let's try Matty Cash. And he's showing great potential, apparently. So, let's go in for the deal. I'm going to try something a little different here. I'm going to offer a player swap. Glenn Murray I'm going to offer. A right winger is what they want. Let's see who we've got. Yeah, I'll offer him. I reckon they might accept that. We'd also consider swapping him for a cash deal as well. 
Let's counter that. 600,000. Alright, yeah, I'll accept that. Sure thing. So, a play swap, and on top of that, 670,000. Let's go into negotiations with the player. <laughs> Right, so we signed ourselves a centre mid, let's go take a look at him and see what he, uh, his overalls and all that look like. So it's a 66 overall, that's not too bad. Acceleration 79, sprint speed 83, dribbling 66, long pass 65, short pass 69. He can play centre mid, right mid and cam. So that's good, he can play out wide, he can play in the middle and he can play more of an attacking centre, attacking mid role. And to be fair, his marking ain't that good, his marking is only a 39, but his slide tackle and his stand tackle is actually pretty good, so he can actually play everywhere. So West Brom is our next game, I'm going to quickly just edit the team sheet. Right, we're going to sim a couple of games now, let's get a little further on into the season, because we can't play every game, otherwise it's going to take us fucking forever just to get through the series, <clears throat> or I should say... The season, anyway. Right, let's see. Right, let's see if we can get a win. Nil nil. It'll do. It will do. 2 2, another draw. Not happy with that. Need to stop drawing. 1 nil. Grub got the goal. At least we've gone through. That's what matters the most. Let's take a look at the monthly scouting update. Max Brown, Will Wright, Mason Lee. Declan Hughes, Callum Martin. I'll sign you. You can get rejected. Rejection. Sign you and sign you. So we've got a couple of decent youth squad there. we just got to wait and see uh, how they turn out really with their potential. So it gets narrowed down that little bit more and uh, we'll find out exactly what their rating is so yeah so again we're gonna sim this game we're gonna sim a few we are home let's see if we can win this game we have drew two games so far in a row can we get a win yeah we can lovely jubbly <coughs> so we've got a monthly scouting update again there it is so his overall is 49 54 56 and 50 so the one with the highest potential so far is this dude the right back his potential is between an 87 and a 94 which is it's crazy this guy's in second place with a potential of a 74 to a 94 then this guy's in third with a potential of a 72 to a 92 and then this guy is in last with a potential of a 58 to a 76 so we are up against Arsenal. Let <laughs> I need to remember how to talk. How do I talk? Uh... Oh, yes. We're up against Arsenal next. We are away. This is going to be one hell of a tough game. But we're going to be playing it. So let's get on into it. This is going to be difficult. I think if we can draw it, that'll be an excellent result. But then again, we did beat Man City like 4-5-0. So I'm sure we can beat Arsenal as well. I'm going to go defensive for the minute. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to play counter-attacking. Sanchez is going to be so deadly. Oh. What a fucking save. Oh my god, he's kept us in that. Well done, Ryan. Yes, that's it. Well done. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Yes! Fucking goal. There we fucking go. Oh, see that that's that came from a counter attack that it's all about that counter and we'll catch him oh no oh no oh well, fuck me alexis sanchez oh Oh, Ryan, you almost had it, mate. Unlucky. I was actually going to go the opposite way there, and then last second I thought, nah. Go the other way. Over. Go on, get it. Win it, win it, win it. 
Oh, how have you not got that? God damn it. Right, second half. Let's try and get ourselves a goal. We might just win this 2-1. Right, he's going uh, short there. Oh, he's field, mate. You come on. Go on, grab. There we go. Free kick for sure. Thank you very much. They're taking his part in the game into a, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off. Oh. He's got his shot off now. Ooh. Oh, Trying to catch the opposition. Oh, no, come on. And there's the cutback. Underside of the Fuck! Well, he struck it so sweet. You gotta be kidding me. Well, they're not showing any signs. Come on, Gallop. Pass. No! What have I done? Very cheeky. I thought he was coming out. Shit! That that was it. That was a chance. That was a chance to go level. And I've just threw that away. Oh wait, it might not be over quite yet. It's not over yet. This is it. Fuck. Yes! Bit over exaggerating that, but <laughs> thank God we fucking got ourselves level. Last minute goal. Well, not last minute. Five minutes to go. Win it. Nice. Look, oh my god, we might just get the last minute goal. Destruction. We've fucking done it, ladies and gentlemen. Last fucking minute goal. Three minutes of added time. No way we've just done that. I thought I fucked it up when I crossed it like that, but I fucking didn't. Oh, what a legend. Oh, that was like a cheap... That was a shit shot, but he's fucking done it. Part that motherfucking bus. Yes. Ow, ow. Yeah, fucking... There we go, lads. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-2. Who got man of the match? Let's take a look. Knock it, got it. If that's how you fucking pronounce his name, I don't know. So the next game is against Everton. Um... We are currently in first place now with 15 points, luckily enough anyway. Um, so we're doing really well so far early on in the season. But yeah, Everton is our next game, but that's going to be for the next episode. So guys, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the world's fastest growing shit channel on the internet. And with that being said, guys, this has been MTG Gameplay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.